The Kansas City Chiefs are currently sitting at 2-3 and three and are the lone below 500 team in the AFC West following their 38-20 loss to the Bills on Sunday Night Football. The defense was horrendous. The offense has been sloppy, and the team had abandoned the run game even before second-year running back Clyde edwards helaire went down with an injury. The Chiefs' kingdom is looking bleak, and the team that walked into the season as a Super Bowl favorite is now on the outside looking in. They'll have a chance to turn their luck around this weekend as they take their talents to the Capitol and match up against the Washington football team. But as for right now, I am worried about their future. Big worried. But I know you're not. Why is that? Yeah, I I wouldn't say I'm worried about this year um, yet. I think five games in, they've looked they, – they easily could be 0-5. Uh, sorry, sorry, 1-4, and four, Eagles game. Probably, they had no chance of losing that. But that Browns game, they definitely – I thought they were going to lose. They, they probably should have lost, got out of that. We tended over the last two years, I feel like we've had a lot of those close games where we've had chances where, yeah, we probably should have lost, came out of those this year – Two of the losses, we got the Chargers. Um, definitely should have. I think that game probably should have been at least a twenty-point blowout uh, with all those turnovers. Just kept get, kept giving them, kept giving them opportunities. Um, again, Ravens had that game won, unlucky, unlucky fumble. Uh, but yeah, this last week, this it was bad. However, two and three. I mean, we got the Raiders, Broncos. They're three and two. I don't see the Broncos really posing much of a threat. Uh, I think that a three and O start was kind of a fluke. Um, the first three games they played teams that uh, had not won a game up until I think week four it was. They had the Giants, Jaguars, and Jets. Um, so pretty easy start to the year, and then now they got blown out by the Ravens and then e- beat pretty easily by the Steelers. Not really worried about them. Raiders, they again they started out three and O. Have had two bad games in a row again with the whole. Situation going on with their coach being gone now. That's going to hurt them. Yeah, it's going to hurt them. And still right now, two and three. The wild card four right now looking at the playoffs. we got Tennessee, Cincinnati, Raiders, Broncos. They're all three and two. We had a pretty we've, – we've already played the Browns, already played the Bills, already played the Ravens. Um, pretty tough start to the schedule. I think uh, six and four. 2019 we were six and four. Look, look, how that, look how that went. We can easily win ten games in a row with this team. Um, they, they can go on streak. They can go on streaks. Uh, so I'm not. I'm not totally worried yet. If we lose this weekend, here's why I am worried about the Chiefs. Contrary to why you're not worried, we're not catching up to the Chargers. I think they're on a roll. I don't think Justin Herbert's going to get figured out until next year. If he does get figured out, I think the dude's a stud. I think they're going to keep winning. I think they're going to win the AFC West because I think we're already too far behind. And I just don't think we're going to catch up, especially with this defense. We're going to get into the defense in a second. I know we both got a lot to say about those guys. So we don't win the division. We absolutely cannot get that first round by because now there's only one first round by for each conference. So that means Mahomes is going to be playing whole new territory, baby. Yeah, and he's going to be playing 18 weeks out of 19. He's going to be exhausted, especially look how much he's had to like try and grind these games and he's trying to do so much because he has to. He's going to be exhausted. Even if they make it to the AFC Championship game, Dude's going to be dead. I mean, he's just going to be exhausted. This team's going to be so worn out. I'm worried. I don't like to be pessimistic, especially with my Chiefs, but I don't like the way we look. I don't think we're a Super Bowl contender anymore. I'm just going to be happy if we make the playoffs at this point because the defense is scaring me. Let's talk about the defense. Second most yards given up in the league. Most points given up. They're the worst defense in the league. Yeah, hands what? down. 29 points every game. I think I think it's funny they showed that stat. If it was 28 points, they would have I just I, some of the some of the stats on games, I think they're funny like, "Oh, they've at least they've allowed at least 29 points." If there's 27 points, they've at least 27 points. I feel like any number you put out there they're going to put that. I just think it's funny. That probably didn't make sense, but I sometimes f- like the like the specific stats they put on there. But yeah, anyways, regardless of what I was saying. No, I'm picking up what you're putting down. Their defense is very 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 ugly. Whack. Yeah. And averaging, right now, rushing 141 yards is the average rush against us, which isn't last, surprisingly, but it's 29th. So we're giving up the most points and, what is that, third most third most rushing yards per game. That's but disaster. Second most total yards as well, behind only the Seahawks. And the Seahawks look gross as well. This defense, man, it's just, 
ah, uh, I don't like to get on Brett Veach because he's done amazing things with contracts and be able to keep guys on board. He discovered Mahomes in a time where I think every Chiefs fan that wanted a quarterback, including myself, was like, look at this kid at Clemson, Deshaun Watson. I think that's the guy we should go after. Yeah, I agree. And then he's like, nah, there's this gunslinger down in Lubbock, Texas. I want to. I think that could be our guy. I'll admit, I was, I was scared when we traded Smith. We traded Smith. I was like, ooh, I don't know if that was a good move, and I look like a fool now. You do, but you've always looked like a fool. I did think he was going. Once we drafted him, I was like, uh, I saw DJ Reed pick six him in Manhattan. Let me go back and look at some tape. And I looked at the gunslinger motions and the stuff he's doing. I was like. This dude's breaking Peyton Manning's record. Hasn't yet, but he did win an MVP his second year in the league, his first year starting, and put up the 5,050 season, which is close to what Peyton Manning did. But speaking of Chiefs drafting, they've drafted in, like, all offense, and I think that's hurting them as well. They drafted Clyde edwards Lair in the first round. Why would you draft a running back in the first round unless it's, like, a literal generational guy like... Derrick Henry or McCaffrey, those are the only two guys in the league I would even think about drafting in the first round, and I think that's where Brett Veach is dropping the ball. I said I didn't want to dog on him, but the drafting has been bad the past few years. He got Legereus Sneed in the third or fourth round, but that's about it since Mahomes. It's just been bad and need. Another thing he did, gave Frank Clark, what, $6 trillion, whatever it is, to take up space on the field don't even get me started on frank clark last year i was i think it was what was week at 14 when did we play the falcons you remember the week nope okay anyways i was there uh he actually got sacked that game and i think i was i I immediately stood up from my chair and people looked at me like who who the heck is this kid because i just started screaming frank clark made a tackle i mean i that was the first time i saw that since week two i think first two or three weeks last year he had a couple sacks then he just went on his vacation for 14 weeks and he came back and he sacked a guy and i got all excited and he just then he didn't do anything else I don't know what we're paying him for. I really don't. It looked like it was going to be a good trade. We got a steal and we got him. And then we pay him all this money. He shows up in the Super Bowl run the first year. And since then, it's just been, dude. Yeah, our whole our whole defensive line this year has been bad. Dude, put Fewest Chris Jones back in the middle. Agreed. Fewest sacks in the NFL. We have seven sacks on the year. Chandler Jones almost did that in one game. No, no pressure either. Rank, we rank last in rush pressure. What, what's, what's going on? bad it is it's bad that's all that's, that's all there is you know, to it. it would seem like because we'd spend some good picks before Veach on we got Colin Sanders early we got Derek Nottie early and it looked like we're gonna build a defensive line nope hasn't happened and Jerron Reed as well we got him and yeah. I really I, I, haven't, I haven't even noticed him I don't even know what number it is 91 no, I haven't that's noticed Nottie, him. I think I don't I haven't noticed him I've seen Wharton Wharton's been the best guy on our defensive line this year which is weird because he was, what, undrafted last year? Yeah. Is bad. Secondary is even worse, though. I look at our secondary, and it's Tyron Matthew just putting his hands in the air because his teammates can't do anything. Tyron Matthew is the best player on the defense, but he has no help right now. And his star, starting co-safety, Daniel Sorensen, is currently suffering from fourth-degree burns from all the times he got burned Dirty dead. this weekend. It was brutal watching Daniel Sorensen in coverage. I saw people saying, I hope he doesn't get on his phone during this this rain delay because it's going to be a bad day in the locker room for him. It was. It has been a, it's been a brutal start to Sorensen's season for sure. And I'll admit, I, after what was yeah, the 2019 playoff run, I, I've always kind of backed Sorensen. Nope. He got in there, like, he hustles. He he kind of he kind of gives us a little spark, and this year I've just totally just turned on him. I'm, I don't know what I don't know what's happening. I just want an, I want explanation. I need explanation as to why Juan Thornhill is not playing. And that was gonna be my next point. Daniel Sorensen played one hundred percent of the snaps against the Bills. Juan Thornhill, forty four percent. Obviously, Spagnola and Andy Reid have much higher football IQs than I do. Well, I don't think this takes a Hall of Fame IQ to figure out there's something wrong with that. Yeah, I. Um, the only thing I can see is Thornhill never recovered his his talents from when he got hurt. But again, we don't know that because nah, we haven't I think seen he him really. Good. I think I mean, he, he looked, looked good. He has to look better than Sorensen. I don't. He would have to be so bad in practice to 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 be worse than Sorensen. I just I don't know. I don't know why. There's there's no explanation unless he's just 
awful. I mean, he must be awful now, which I don't think is the case. Dude, I mean, Sorensen's leading the league in missed tackles. He, he can't tackle. There's a liability. He is. Talking about the Chiefs' offense, it's been sloppy. I think Mahomes is trying to do way too much, and I've been saying this season, he looks too much like Texas Tech Mahomes and not Chiefs Mahomes. He's just making dumb mistakes he didn't in his previous two years as a starting quarterback in the NFL. Yeah, he has six six interceptions already through five games, and I don't, I don't remember the specific number, but I mean, last year he was leading the league and fewest there for most of the season behind with Rodgers. And I, I, he definitely got lucky on a lot of them last year. I remember seeing throws that it just hit hit the defender's chest, and that hasn't really been happening this year. I, I know two of them on top of my head. One of his interceptions against the Chargers, he did a he did a no look fade into his right. Um, who was that? Fortson, I think. Yeah. Some guy dropped it and intercepted. Wasn't necessarily on Mahomes, but again, you don't need to do a no look pass there. There was no reason to. And then last week, Tyreeks went right through his chest to the defender, but still four interceptions. That's just unheard of. That's not what we're used to watching Mahomes play for these Chiefs. And I was just saying, I think he just went back to his Texas Tech days and thinking, no, I, my defense is going to hold its own. I have to do some stellar things on offense like he did against OU and Baker Mayfield where he put up like 700 yards and seven touchdowns. I think he's just going back to that mindset. Chiefs have the second worst turnover differential in the league right now. You can't win games when you're not when you turn it over that much. You oh, just yeah. can't. Look at the other team, the Jaguars who are 0-5 and, and going through a debacle right now. Chiefs only four takeaways this entire season, and they have 11 giveaways, six interceptions, and five fumbles. It's been a nightmare for the Chiefs to hold on to the football, and I don't know what's going on because we haven't had this issue. I don't know why they keep they keep returning every kickoff, too. They, they fumbled one last week off of that. They get it eight yards deep in the end zone. They just return it to the 15-yard line and fumble the ball. Just kneel it. I mean, you're losing yards. I'd say 85% of our kick returns that we take out of the end zone, we end up losing yards. Yeah, but Byron Pringle, though. Special teams you. Take him to the house. How many has he returned? One? Two? One. One. Exactly. And it was and, awesome. And how many times has he returned it to the 20-yard line? I think we're just so, oh, Mahomes can, Mahomes can take us down the field no matter where we start from. So let's just return it to the, see if we can get a, get a touchdown. If not, we'll get to the 18-yard line. He'll be fine. That hasn't been happening this year. Every every play, it just seems that they just want to take deep shots. Every play, I mean, the defense is giving. They were kind of giving us the middle of the field, little quick slants here and there, but they don't want to do that. They just want to. They want to run four verticals and, and and run run teams to the ground. I mean, look at look at Brady though. All he does is just throw little. He just finds the open middle of the field and he just hits it all day long, all day long. But Mahomes, he just seems like he just doesn't want to do that, and I just don't understand. And then as well, we can't get our running going. I don't necessarily think that's Alaire's fault. I think Alaire is. I think he's talented. I think he's pretty good. But if all we're running is HB draws just out of the shotgun, we're never lining up under center and just just taking power power O's to them. We're just we're trying to do too much. Oh, we're gonna pass it, but if we don't see a quick slant, we're just gonna hand it off to you. It's all RPOs, and that just has not been working out this year, like it normally does. Uh, Clyde Edwards Alaire, I don't even think he fumbled last year once, and now. The whole team, and including him, before he got hurt, was just fumbling, and it's it's one of the reasons I don't think they're a Super Bowl contender. You think they are? Why? I think it's too early to just after we lost that Buccaneers game last year. I said, "All right, we're winning the Super Bowl next year." I just immediately, I think we're going to win it. I think it's too early for me to just turn on that. They have. Again, their defense is bad, but we don't need our defense to be necessarily great or even good. We need the defense to be about average. That's I, what we need out of this defense, to be average. And they're the worst right now, so that looks like a hard hill to climb. But you look back 2019, I mean, the first first five or six weeks, defense was terrible. Defense wasn't – they were pretty good. I think they were like 10th best defense the last half of the season. I think if the Chiefs had a competent defense, just competent – they would be a Super Bowl contender, but they they don't have the defense to win. I don't see this defense getting better. I know you do. I don't. I don't know how they can do it. They're not going to be able to add anybody in at this point of the season. They don't have the money to even, if like a veteran gets cut and then bring him in, I, we don't have the money. I don't see this defense getting better. And it's going to be a huge liability. And Mahomes is special. He's going to win you games. Not the Super Bowl with this defense. I th- think that we're also kind of forgetting we do have some injuries. 
Uh, again, Jones was out last week, but if we move him back inside, maybe he'll produce. He hasn't really produced much on the outside. I think getting Ward back in there will probably help. Um, and then we got Willie Gay back. I, I saw a lot of good things about Willie Gay last year at the end of the year. He was back some this week. Get Ben Neiman out of there. I'm fine with that. Ben Neiman isn't necessarily very good either. Um, again, Thornhill. If we get Thornhill and he produces, I think that would help a lot, not have to play Sorensen. But, yeah, it's definitely scary. It's not what I was expecting to start this year. I think even adding those guys back in, it's not going to be enough. I, It's just not enough talent. The bad defenses can't win a Super Bowl. The internet seems to think that the 2011 Giants were the worst defense to win a Super Bowl, and I think that defense was significantly better than what this Chiefs team was. They had the eighth most points allowed in the season. Chiefs currently leading the league in points allowed. That Giants team, six most yards allowed. Chiefs currently second in the league in yards allowed. Team is not turning around. The offense, special. This defense can't hang with the Rams. They can't hang with the Bucks. And we they shown that they can't hang with the Bills. It's not even much of a different defense from last year either, which is even more confusing. I mean, I can't think of any big piece they had last year on the defense that they lost. I know they lost Passignon. Eh, but not that big. Again, other than that, I mean, do you remember anyone big leaving our defense? It seems pretty much the same. They Ken- just aren't doing it. Kendall Fuller left two years ago. That was two years ago. But again, last year, I mean, we weren't. our defense wasn't terrible last year. It wasn't as good as it was in the 2019 but I heard I think they were 13th best in um, allowing points. So again, they're kind of more bend not break. And this year they're just like, oh, might as well just here slip and slide out, right, slip and slide right down down the field, and hop in the end zone. We don't care. We'll we'll throw Mahomes in there. We'll be fine. I we lost Wilson too, a linebacker. Oh yeah, Wilson. But I we're not. I don't think it's happening. I love the Chiefs with all my heart. I wish I could say. That works to bowl team. We're not. We're not. Maybe next year we'll make some moves, get rid of some contracts, pr- find a way to bring the Honey Badger back, and contend. This year is not a. It's not the year for the Chiefs. Come on, don't give up so soon, Carson. It's, don't lose hope. We're five five games in. Five games in. Five bad games. We I saw. And we're still two and three. We're I still s- two and three. We went because we had one good quarter from the hey, defense. We, we and went, We played the Eagles. We went three in a row. We're five and three. That's, that's good that, math right there. I'm proud yeah, of you. Yes, thank you. That's that's not bad. We were six and four, five and three. I'm perfectly fine with five and three. Lose early. Maybe that maybe that's our key. Lose early or don't lose. <laughs> well, yeah, but that didn't work out too well last year. I it's not turning around. We'll see you next year, Chiefs. Hopefully, we can get a Super Bowl then.